Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti working here as Function Consultant. So in today's video, we will see how to create the project in project portfolio management module in the Oracle Fusion application. When you create a project from a template or another project, Oracle projects copies the project and its work down breakdown structure and all of the project and task options to the new project. It also copies the budget amounts from the source template or project to the new project's budget. Oracle project does not copy any transaction charge to the source project to the new project. These transactions include expenditure items, requisitions, purchase orders, supplier invoices and billing events. Project templates are the ones that you use in the every project. So it does not copy any of the transaction in which those templates are used. So now we will move to our application to see how project is created in the Fusion application. Now click on project tab here and go to project management. The role that we have provided to the user is project manager role. You can see here, these are the projects and these are the open projects. The projects that you can see in here are the one which is owned by this user. Now for creating a new project, you have to click on this task list. And in the initiate field, you have to select create project. Now here you have to mention the name of your project. Here you have to give the start date. So by default, it is taking today's date and you have to give the finish date. This is not the mandatory field, but I'm selecting here it as a one year later date. Now in the calendar, you can select from the predefined calendars. So I'm taking this as project management schedule. This is a predefined calendar which is provided by the Oracle Fusion application. Now here it is asking for schedule type, fixed duration, fixed effort. So I'm selecting it as fixed effort. Now here you have to select the work plan template. This is not a mandatory field. So you can uh, not select any one of them, but selecting the one will help you in defining the task. So this implementation project with fin task is the one which is predefined and provided by the Oracle. Now click on save and close. It is taking time because it is creating the project. Now you can see here, you can see the task pre-implementation, system definition, delivery. Now I will expand it. These are the subtasks. Again, I'm expanding the planning. So you can see here the defined goals and objective, defined scope, project scope, approval, requirement analysis, requirement sign off. So these are the tasks related to this project from where it is taking these tasks you know we have selected the template so from that template it is taking these tasks now you can see here the start date so this is the start date this is the finish date this is the duration now scroll it to the right side and you can see the labor source to whom you want to give the task, you can decide here. Now, click on this field. Double click on it. You can see here, there are resources name available. 
Amy Marlin is the user that we have signed in with. You can see the other also. So to whom you want to assign this task, you can select here who will do the work related to this task will be given here. Say I want Amy Marlin to perform the task. Click on Amy Marlin and click on save and close. Now again go to next task and click on double click on it. Say I want this Ganesh Bade to handle this task. Now click on save and close. So this is how you will handle the labor resources for the task. Now, there are a couple more tasks that you can see from this task list. So these are the tasks that you can perform and this will be only applicable to this open project. Now say, I want to see the calendar for this project. You can click on manage project calendar. You can see the task align for the dates. You can see here this is the Christmas. And in the green you can see the project task. So in this way, you can see the events in the calendar. Now click on done. Again, go to our project. Again, go to this task list and also go to this manage project resources. From here, you can generate the request for new resources. Also, if you want to change the status of any resources, you have to select this task. So, Amy Marlin is the project manager and the user that we have signed in with now say uh, you have to change the status of this team member you have to click on this arrow and click on update so right now he is a team member now you want to change the role of this resource now click on this arrow and you can select it from here say i want to make it as grant administrator i will select it and i will click on save and close and you can see here that this ganesh bade is the staffing owner i want to make him as the another project manager for this project go to update here in the project role you have to select it as project manager If you want to select the date range from when to when he will be working as project manager, you can give the date here. But right now I'm not mentioning the date. You can see the rates of this resource here. Now in this way we can change the project role of the resource. Now click on save and close. 
and if you want to generate a request for new user go here and create resource request so this is how you will be able to manage the labor resource again go to task list click on save here now the changes that you have made will be updated go to task list so these are the tasks that are related specifically to the project which is open on that time. Now click on save and close. Click on done. So this is how we created the project. One more thing I will tell you how to create the template. Now go to this task list and click on create project. Now in the work plan template, I'm not selecting anything. Click on save and close. Now you can see here, there are no tasks. So how to add tasks to this project? Now click on it and click on create task. Now right click on it and create sub task here. Again, select, select HB project and create task. Planning also have some subtask. In this way, you can create the task for this project and also subtask of it. Now, say if you want to save this template for further projects, what you have to do? You have to go to actions and now you have to click on save as work plan template. Then after saving this as work plan template, you will be able to select this task list for other projects also. Now you can define the name here for this work plan template. And click on save and close. Now click on done. Now again go to create project option. Now the template that we have saved will be visible here in this list. You can see here work plan template practice. Click on save and close. Now the task list that we have created will be visible here because you have selected the work plan template that we have saved. You can see here 
you can see here so this is how you can create the project template as per your own requirement and you can even save it for further project usage so in this video we have learned how to create the project and work plan template thank you so much for watching the video